Hello, it's time for another episode of It's Not About You. We've been uh, kind of wandering around the book, uh, the Bible, and uh, using scripture to prove that it's not about us. Um, so many times we get this feeling that our salvation, God saved us because he needed me. Uh, God doesn't need you. <laughs> he doesn't need anything from anybody in this world. Um, but he does want a relationship with you. Your salvation is not about you. It's about bringing glory to God. In the Westminster Shorter Catechism, the chief end of man is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. And I know when I said catechism, I lost some of you people right away because it sounds Catholic. Um, there's nothing wrong with catechism. Catechism is just teaching your children the things that they need to know about God. There's nothing in that short catechism that doesn't fit with scripture. And uh, it, it really proves to us that it's not about us all through that catechism. I'm going to use a couple of scriptures here this morning. We're going to look at them real quick. First Thessalonians 5 verse 15 says, See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. We don't, uh, we don't repay evil for evil. That's the way it's supposed to be, and I know that I haven't always succeeded in that. Sometimes people have done and said things about me or to me that are hurtful, and uh, a lot of times we take that very personally. But there again, it's not about us. Our chief end is to bring glory to God. How do we do that? When we turn that other cheek is how we do that sometimes. I'm not saying that we should be mamby-pamby. I'm not saying that we shouldn't defend ourselves, but there are times that we need to check our motives and check our anger uh, before we lash out at people. One of the things that really helped me with that is I had a counselor that I was having a discussion with one time that told me hurting people hurt people. I don't want to lash out at people and hurt them because it exposes the hurts that I'm dealing with. And uh, it's not about me. It's about bringing honor and glory to Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 10.24 also says, Let no one seek his own good, but do the good for his neighbor. We have got to be win, winful, uh, winsome, attractive people if we're going to win people to Christ. Uh, I just delivered a sermon this last week talking about uh, how is it that we appear to the people around us how is it that we not only walk the walk but we talk the talk it's been misquoted that france of assisi said live the gospel at all times and when necessary use words that was never uh substantiated that he ever said that but he did think that and uh it's it's clear through his writings um, but i would tell you that it's always necessary to use words you can win people over as they look at you by your actions but at some point you have to say the reason i act the way i do is because jesus christ saved me from my sin i think it's always necessary to use words we're going to have to be attractively winsome with those words also first corinthians 9 19 says for though i am free from all i have made myself a servant to all that I might win more of them. If we're an evangelist, if you have an evangelist heart, you want to be attractively winsome to people around you. You want them to be able to look at you and say, there's something different about that person. And that's when you start to use words. Attractively winsome words to draw them to Jesus Christ. Now, this is not about evangelism, but this is about the church recognizing that their salvation, their existence, as they surrender to Jesus Christ, becomes not about them. It becomes about how we bring glory to God through our lives. So for myself, Pastor Bob Benson, I just want to thank you for taking your time and watching today.